Welcome back, Wolfpack, to Lesson 5.5, Tangent Lines and Circumscribed Polygons. Our essential question continues to be, what are the differences between inscribed and circumscribed? First up, if a line is tangent to a circle, then the line is perpendicular to the radius, to a radius of the circle at the point of tangency. Perpendicular. Uh, meaning it forms a 90 degree angle. So since a 90 degree angle was formed with the radius and the line, that means this line is a tangent. Okay. So example one, in the diagram, RS is a radius of circle R. Is ST tangent to circle R? So they're asking, <clears throat> is ST tangent to circle R? So that's, if it was tangent, that means it's perpendicular. Well, if it's perpendicular, it forms a 90 degree angle, which means that's a right triangle. Well, we can check to see if it's a right triangle. Because if it's a right triangle, then RS squared plus ST squared would equal RT squared, the Pythagorean theorem. So if that is indeed true, then yes, um, ST is tangent to the circle. So RS is 10 squared. ST is 24, so 24 squared, equals RT, 26 squared. 10 squared is 100. 24 squared is 576. And 26 squared is 676. 100 plus 576 is 676. And 676 does, in fact, equal 676. So back to our question, is ST tangent to circle R? We will say yes. Let me scroll down a little bit. Yes. Because triangle R, ST, is a right triangle. ST is tangent to circle R. Okay. Because I was able to prove it's a right triangle, that means ST is perpendicular to RS, which means it is a tangent. We will do example number two in class. If you want to try it, feel free to go ahead. Example number three. Tangent segments from a common external point are congruent. Which obviously means equal. So I have uh, RS, it starts at S, and a TS starts at S. Because RS and TS both start at S, RS is congruent to TS. Okay, so if two tangents originate from the same external, meaning outside the circle point, then they are equal to each other. A circumscribed angle and its associated central angle are supplementary. Now, circumscribed is a word that we have not really heard or used a lot yet. Don't forget, supplementary means they add up to 180. The word circumscribed means outside of the circle. We've been using the word inscribed for inside the circle. Circumscribed means outside of the circle. So as an example, angle S is that angle. If I draw an angle from R to P to T, okay? Angle P is a central angle. Angle, in this situation, angle P plus angle S equal 180 degrees. Angle S is a circumscribed angle. It's outside of the circle. And then angle P is a central angle. They're going to add up to 180 degrees because they are supplementary. Let's do a couple of examples. Example three, QR is tangent to circle R. 
I'm sorry, QR is tangent to circle C at R, and QS is tangent to circle C at S. Find X. Well, since QR is a tangent and QS is a tangent, and they both originate from the same point outside of the circle, which is Q, that means the two tangents are congruent. So 32 is equal to 3X plus 5 because QR is equal to QS. And this is simply solving for 4X. Subtract 5 from both sides. We have 27 equals 3X. Divide both sides by 3. X equals 9. You want to look back in the problem. Did it say to find X or find the tangents? It said just to find X. So we have solved our problem. If they wanted us to find the tangents, we would then need to plug X in. But again, we already know that they are congruent, so they both are equal to 32. Example number four. Lines that appear to be tangent are tangent. You will see this verbiage in a lot of problems. They're letting you know that even though they didn't draw the right angle to show their perpendicular, if, they, if the lines look like they're tangent, consider them to be tangents. So, lines that appear to be tangent are tangent. O is the center of the circle. What is the value of x? Well, remember the theorem back at the bottom of the last page that said a circumscribed angle and its associated central angle are supplementary. That means angle x and 40 degrees add up to 180. Angle x plus 40 degrees add up to 180. So I'm going to subtract 40 from both sides. x is equal to 140 degrees. Simple as that. Okay, don't overcomplicate it. That's it. Okay. Last example, example five. A, B, B, C, and A, C are tangents to circle O at points F, E, and D respectively. A, F is six. C, D is five. And B, E is four. What is the perimeter of triangle ABC? Well, if BE is 4, that means BF is 4. If AF was 6, AD is also 6. And if CD was 5, CE is also 5. Well, if we're going to find the perimeter, we add up all the sides. So I'm going to add up, starting from 4 plus, well, let me... 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 6 plus 4. A couple of different ways you could add it all this up together. I just wanted to show you writing out all the numbers. Okay? So I know 5 plus 5 is 10. I know 6 plus 4 is 10. And 6 plus 4 is 10. So all together, the perimeter is 30. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. So the perimeter of triangle ABC is 30. And that's your answer. If you have any questions on any of these problems, or you're unsure, or want more examples, anything like that, please make sure you make a note in your margins. Well, we will do examples six and the try it in class. Um, I'm pretty confident you could do them on your own. So if you want to try and check with me before class to see how you did, feel free to. Have a great day, Wolfpack, and I will see you next class.